So did any of you guys watch the debate last night? Anybody? Anybody? You guys think I'm, you watched one? Really? You did? Okay. Well, does anybody else think I'm crazy? Horses and Tim? Um, Sabres. Um, there was a debate last night. Oh. It was called the third party debate. It featured Libertarian candidate Gary Johnson. Um, Green party candidate Jill Stein was there. It was moderated by Larry King. It was not on television in most places. You had to watch it online, streaming, sadly. But uh, has it ever struck anybody as odd that we have over 314 million people and we vote between two people every four years for a president? It's a little crazy. Numbers don't add up. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. My job here today isn't to persuade you to vote for Gary Johnson. It is to teach you a little bit about another choice you guys have and let you guys know that you do not want to have two choices as Republicans and Democrats. I will be letting you know how Gary Johnson started as a Republican, first as mayor of, no, governor of New Mexico, and then running for the GOP candidacy earlier last year. He also gained the Libertarian nomination earlier this year and has struggled heavily to get on the ballot on all the states. Gary Johnson's journey, wrong button. Gary Johnson's journey started about two years ago. He started as the governor of New Mexico, where he was known as Governor Vito, for all the vetoes he did on laws coming in from higher ups and everything. Like I said, he's libertarian, so he's about small government. He uh, ran for the GOP nomination, but he eventually left in November 2011 because he wasn't being featured in many of their debates, along with Ron Paul, Rick Santorum, even Michelle Bachman, who, you know, was the infamous God told me to run for president, you know? <laughs> so let's all just remember that. Um, after his little Republican stint, Gary Johnson would become, would join the Libertarian Party, where he would be given their nomination for president on May 5th, 2012, at the Libertarian National Convention. He would go on to take Judge Jim Gray as his running mate, who is a very notable judge from the state of California. But getting the nomination was only half the battle for Gary Johnson. Right now, at the moment, he's on the ballot on 47 states in D.C. He is off the ballot in Michigan, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania. In Michigan, he is right now filing a lawsuit that, according to <coughs> Matthew Reese of TheExaminer.com, would try to put him in the, in the ballot in that state as soon as he can. Obviously, the election is two weeks from now. Um, in this interview with Fox Business, Johnson talks about how he would always submit a balanced budget to Congress and how he isn't all that upset not being involved in the debate, how he is a glass half, glass half full kind of guy. I just click on it to run it. What's this mean? Alright, we'll just pretend we watched that, I guess. <laughs> in the interview, because we didn't want in the interview, Johnson talks about how he'd always submitted a balanced budget as the governor of New Mexico and he planned on doing the same in his four four years in his presidency. He admits that while most people aren't looking at him to win or even be relevant, he's a glass half full kind of guy and he wants to at least affect the election. Gary Johnson also is a very supportive of ending the prohibition on marijuana. He thinks it's ridiculous and in an article by Sam Levine of the DenverWestward.com, Johnson sits down with him and talks about how he heavily supports Colorado's bill this year to uh, have medicinal marijuana and end the prohibition, putting millions of people in jail and costing the government thousands and thousands of dollars a year. So, my speech today was on Gary Johnson, just trying to inform you guys on another candidate that you guys have this year. and. Um, I told you about how I started as a Republican, 
He's won the Libertarian nomination, and he's battled very hard to be on the ballot in as many states as possible. Thank you.